Well, it's a very important initiative, open banking, because basically it creates a lot of competition in the banking space. And uh, you already have a lot of new TPPs coming out, providing payment services to consumers. It's good for consumers. Consumers get a better choice. Uh, it's cheaper, faster, better, and banks uh, are forced for the first time to really compete. And I think, uh, you know, Europe is leading the vision, and England is obviously, London being the financial capital of the world, is, is leading the charge. It's simply fantastic to see this. A lot of small companies getting into the business, and uh, it's good for consumers, it's good for the banks. Compliance deadlines um, have been there for a while, and lots of them are passed. So while a lot of the big banks have done the, the compliances for both GDPR and PSD2, there's a fair number of banks, I would say, in fact, uh, the majority of them that actually are not live with a PSD2 solution yet. So uh, the deadlines keep getting extended. They're very flexible. Uh, it, it's a very good initiative, PSD2 and open banking. And uh, there's a lot of banks that are really starting to, to realize they better do this uh, fast now because then the regulators are finally going to start putting in those levy, those fines that they keep talking about. And uh, so the process is ongoing. I will take at least, uh, I think the, the deadlines have moved out to 2020, in the middle of 2020. And then uh, I suspect many more banks will be done by the summer of 2020. And then uh, it probably be extended just a little bit again uh, un until it all gets done. So because it is something that is very, very good for consumers and it's going to be copied worldwide. You know, you have, you want to have Africa, Asia, everybody copying and ultimately America as well. America's it lags in the financial space. The Fiorano offerings, there are many com uh, many infrastructure vendors, many companies offering solutions for PSD2 and for open banking. Fiorano differentiates itself in that the solutions that we have are really are more scalable, and easier and faster to implement. I mean, there's a lot of solutions out there, right? We, we just believe that our, our solutions and, and evidence shows that. You can be up and running in as little as two weeks. Right? The only thing holding people back is their own uh, internal processes. So we have a very competitive solution, technically very advanced, which can be scaled out. Because PSD2 and the base regulations is only the first step in open banking. Ultimately, you have to compete and go to real-time banking, and you've got to go into the cloud. Everything has to be working in the cloud. All of a bank's infrastructure needs to be in the cloud, and, and our solutions are cloud-ready.